We can ride on board now uh, with Kimi Raikkonen. We saw him going off the track. What happened? Whoa! This is Grosjean now, who might feel that Kimi came onto the track and stopped Roman drifting yeah. out as wide as he normally would to take the natural line. Kimi Raikkonen goes fourth fastest. Watch the times, they're all going to start changing. Gasly goes eighth fastest. Key for Red Bull there is that uh, his teammate, Max Verstappen, is slower. Giovinazzi goes ninth fastest, pushes Verstappen down a little bit more as well. Nico Hulkenberg goes fourth fastest. We're watching Perez and Kibitza out on the track, but Albon and Ricardo are out there as well. Perez goes fifth fastest. Verstappen now 12th overall. Robert Kibitza uh, will be the next man to cross the line in his Williams. He stays slowest of all as Daniel Ricciardo goes fifth fastest. Alex Albon next. Only elimination in Q1 was when he didn't appear in qualifying in China. He's in the bottom five at the moment. He crosses the line and just above that bottom five by a tenth of a second, he pushes his teammate Danny Kriat down into that bottom five. Now, Lance Stroll for racing points. <laughs> we'll get to the final corner, get his foot to the floor and think for once, can I get out a Q1 here? It's about time that run came to an end and it sadly for him doesn't quite happen on this occasion only by a couple of tenths his teammate Sergio Perez six fastest overall but Lance Stroll just didn't hook up the lap that he would have wanted so Sainz, uh, sixth fastest at the moment, crosses the line, stays sixth fastest, uh, courtesy of that uh, error, I think, in the first turn. He's, he's cool, he's calm, he's laid back, but his eyes will have been on stalks going through there. Uh, he did well to save it. Fourth fastest for Lando Norris. Pushes his teammate into a troublesome zone, I think. Kimi Raikkonen now into the top nine. Jo uh, Giovinazzi replaces him. Can you be faster? We have 10 seconds margin also, for only for Charles. That's an old message, Charles Leclerc. Yeah, how much more margin do you need? That should be fine, just uh, don't slow exactly. down. Yeah, it's fine. No, I'm not slowing, I'm not trying to kill him, so don't worry. Yeah, it's an old message. Charles Leclerc was worried he wouldn't make it to the line in time to start his lap. Alex Albon goes into the top ten, but only just pushes Kimi Raikkonen out of it. Giovinazzi's out qualified. Uh, his teammate once again, Hulkenberg, only 13th fastest uh, for Renault. I wonder what happened here. Ah, uh, OK, so he lost the lap, effectively. So that chicane is so tricky uh, you, with the bumps on the approach. You can't afford to break two or three metres early. Valtteri Bottas needs a good final sector, didn't get a great exit there. And the car's still trying to get away from him a little bit at the back end, but effectively now two corners to go. It's, a very, it's like 160 degrees through there. And then the little clumsy right-hander I've told you about. And it's dry for the line then. It is, as Max Verstappen with the 129.6 sets the new target to aim at. Valtteri Bottas, 128.6, goes a full one second faster. And his teammate Lewis Hamilton, who was on pole last year here at Paul Ricard, is now on provisional pole in 2019. Next across the line, Carlos Sainz, who goes fourth fastest, only a tenth off Max Verstappen. That time by Hamilton's a new track record, beats his pole time from last year. Charles Leclerc crosses the line, goes third fastest overall as you would expect but what's the difference between Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel because there's a Ferrari battle on that uh, really that, that Leclerc has been winning all weekend long box 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 I don't know why I had a missed up shift okay box Vettel forced to pit because of a missed up shift so if the clouds and the gods of Formula One are against him he feels at the moment the technicals aren't helping him either Bottas reaches the final corner. Has he made up anything in the final sector? Hamilton right behind him. It's the dash down towards the line. Bottas on the front row, stays on the front row. Could not improve on his time. Hamilton crosses the line. He improves on his time. He is on pole position for the French Grand Prix. It's a 1-2 once again for Mercedes in qualifying. Max Verstappen uh, with a personal best in the middle sector, trying to put some pressure on Ferrari as uh, crosses the line now, Carlos Sainz to go fourth fastest. Norris then yeah. goes fourth fastest, out qualifies his teammate once again, the McLaren head-to-head -head this year in favour of Lando Norris, 5-3. Max Verstappen goes fourth fastest, reaches the second row. Daniel Ricciardo, only seventh fastest for Renault. Sebastian Vettel, 
needs a lap time. Only seventh fastest for Sebastian Vettel. That is a major disappointment for Ferrari as his teammate puts his prancing horse on the second row. And for McLaren, big, big smiles for Zach Brown and Andreas Seidel and their team. It is Norris 5, Sainz 6 on the grid. That's by far their best qualifying performance for many a long time. That's it, Lewis. Get in there, mates. Well done. That's pole position. Fantastic job. 63 front row lockouts. I think it was at McLaren were the first team to get to 62. It was the Brazilian Grand Prix in 2012. And Williams joined them. Ferrari joined them this season. Mercedes joined them this season. And now Mercedes have uh, overtaken them as well.